The light adjustable lens is one of the newest and most innovative lens implants in all of cataract surgery. Every patient needs to choose a lens implant prior to their cataract surgery. Should you pick the light adjustable lens? To help you decide, we travel to one of the largest cataract surgery conferences in America to ask surgeons everything you need to know about lens implants and the light adjustable lens. How does it work? Which patients is it good for? Is it the best lens implant currently on the market? We met up with some of the most respected cataract surgeons in the country to learn more about the light adjustable lens. Let's see what they had to say. For more patient educational materials about modern cataract surgery, check out bestcataractsurgeons.com where you can find information on lens implants, laser cataract surgery, what to expect before and after surgery, and find a great surgeon near you. What's your name? Where do you practice? My name is Dr. John Kung, and I practice in East Brunswick, New Jersey, and Staten Island, New York. Excellent. And you're a cataract surgeon? I mainly do anterior segment surgery, including cataract surgery and, all, and all its complications. Excellent. And so we are asking cataract surgeons about the light adjustable lens. It's one of the newest technologies that are out there for our patients. Yes. And we're wondering, is it just a new fad? Is it a flash in the pan? Or is it really a game changer that's going to change outcomes for patients and change their life? So we've been doing the light adjustable lens now for the, over the past three years. We were the first practice to do it in the states of New York and New Jersey. So at this point I've done over 400 uh, cases and it's a fantastic technology. It's the only technology where you can change the power of the in implant after the surgery. So we can adjust the patients if they want more nearsightedness or more farsightedness and we can adjust astigmatism. Got it. And for patients who don't understand traditional lens implants, how does that differ in what's been currently available with a fixed traditional lens implant? That's a fantastic question. So what happens is a, a traditional lens is a monofocal lens that goes into the eye and it can adjust at one distance. But what happens is as the tissue shrink wraps around the implant, the implant ever so slightly can move forward or back. That slight movement of the implant can cause a change in the prescription for the patient. Now, if this change in pres prescription is significant, patients now have to wear a pair of glasses if it bothers them. But now, with the light adjustable lens technology, what we can do is we can put the lens in, let the patient heal, and then see where they end up, and then adjust for that difference. So now, they can see excellent at the target that we aim for. And how are those adjustments done? Does it take an additional procedure or an additional surgery to make those adjustments to the lens implant? So these adjustments are done in the office using an ultraviolet light. <clears throat> it doesn't hurt. It takes approximately 90 seconds. And so typically, uh, we will do three adjustments per eye and it'll be done simultaneously in two eyes if the patient had both eyes uh, had, if both eyes had surgery within about two weeks of each other and we do them approximately a week apart. So the lens implant material is actually sensitive to that wavelength of light. You just shine a simple light on the lens implant and that basically zaps the prescription the patient wants into the lens? Absolutely. So what happens is <clears throat> the lens itself has macromers in it and these molecules are light sensitive. So what happens is we can actually put into the computer the prescription that we want, the computer will then choose from thousands of uh, uh, choices and find the perfect pattern to put onto that IOL using light. So once the light is shined onto the lens, the lens will actually, those molecules will move and the lens will actually change shape. Oh, wow. And so we can change the shape of the lens while it's in the patient's eye, Very cool. thereby adjusting for nearsightedness farsightedness or astigmatism. Very cool. Absolutely. And so every patient comes to surgery with a different history and different problems. Are there any patients who are particularly good candidates for the light adjustable lens? So the best patients who are candidates for this is number one, the patient has to dilate pretty well. Uh, secondly, um, there are patients, if there are patients who especially want very clear vision, we tell them it's almost like getting HD TV versus regular TV. And lastly, patients who have had uh, previous refractive surgery, if they've had previous LASIK, previous RK, those patients, their cornea now is a different shape. And the problem is choosing the power implant in the traditional sense is challenging because the cornea now is a new shape. 
now that can be taken into account on the back end when the patient heals and we can adjust it using the light adjustable lens. So some patients with that traditional lens implant, we may know ahead of time that, hey, those, those preoperative measurements may be less accurate than the average patient, and the chances that you're off your target may be a little more than the average patient. They would be a particularly good candidate for the light adjustable lens. Absolutely. So patients who have had previous refractive procedure are especially good candidates uh, for, the, for the light adjustable lens. That's great. So overall, what's your overall impression on the light adjustable lens? The lens is a fantastic lens. <clears throat> One thing that patients do have to realize, though, it's an adjustable monofocal. So that same eye, when typically we adjust it for distance, that same eye is not going to see well up close. So it's not a multifocal lens, it's a monofocal lens. Although we do have other options where we do put multifocal lenses into patients' eyes. <clears throat> and so one such lens is the Panoptics or the Synergy, and these lenses are multiple focal points so patients can see better near to far. Another idea that we've been doing is we've been putting a light adjustable in one eye and a multifocal lens in the second eye. This way, the multifocal lens eye can see near and the light adjustable lens can see even better far. So both eyes can work for far, but as you come closer, the multifocal eye will pick up that, uh, that, 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 that vision. And when both eyes are open and working together, your brain just blends those things together. Absolutely. Very cool. Well, Absolutely. thank you very much, Dr. Kung. This has been great. My name is Dr. Gregory Pamel. I practice in New York City uh, and also in Astoria, Queens and Brooklyn, New York. You're a cataract surgeon? Yes, I am. Excellent. So we're asking cataract surgeons about the light adjustable lens, one of the newest, coolest technologies that are out there um, for our patients. We're wondering, is it just a, a flash in the pan? Is it just a fad or is it a real game changer for patients? I think it's definitely a game changer for patients. Um, I think it's the most customizable lens option for patients who undergo cataract surgery. It allows the patients to select the type of vision they want after the surgery um, by undergoing uh, light adjustments in the office, which take about 90 seconds. So the major difference when you talk about customization is that with traditional lens implants, they're fixed. They can't be adjusted after the surgery. Is that's that right? That's correct. So with the light adjustable lens, you're allowed to adjust the power of the lens um, based on how the patient uh, wants to see after the surgery. So we can actually try out their vision uh, with uh, lenses in the office, show them what they are currently seeing and how they want to see, and then we can adjust that based on what they select. How do you do that? How does it work? Well, they have the surgery, then they come back uh, approximately two to three weeks later for their adjustments. We show them what their vision is currently without glasses. We then show them what they can, um, could possibly see with certain types of correction, whether it be for intermediate vision or for near vision, and then they try that in the office. Um, and most of the patients are very uh, certain about what they want, and they make the decision, and then we go ahead and do an adjustment. And then they can go home with that adjustment, uh, live with it for anywhere from three to seven to 14 days, and they come back and at that point, they either decide they want to have an additional adjustment or they're satisfied with that, and then we do a lock-in treatment. That's great. So they can actually fine-tune it. Maybe a patient says they want reading vision, but they realize, you know, actually, I wanted a little more of the computer range or the dashboard in the car. So you can fine-tune it that That's right. delicately. Every, every patient is a little bit different in terms of their visual needs and that's the beauty of the lens. And does it require additional surgery or additional procedure to, to make those adjustments? How are the adjustments done? The adjustments are very simple. They just require a light treatment. Um, it's not additional surgery. It's placing a, a lens after installing a topical anesthetic on the eye. You place a, a lens on the eye to visualize the, uh, the light. And, uh, and then adjust the lens. That's great, so it's, it's, a, it's a photochemistry type process. Basically, you just shine a special type of light on that lens implant that's that changes its shape, that's and right. that's what changes the prescription of the lens inside the eye. Exactly. So no cutting, nothing sharp, you, they just have a light shine on their eye. No big deal. That's right. That's pretty cool. Um, and so what is the process, how does the process um, for the light adjustable lens from, from the surgery to the final lock-in um, differ compared to a um, traditional lens implant? I think the process differs uh, in that there are uh, a few more post-operative visits, uh, number one. Uh, there are the light adjustments, number two. 
Uh, the patient has to wear uh, special UV protected glasses, uh, mostly out outdoors. Um, and, and that period lasts anywhere from four to six weeks usually. So overall, what would you say your opinion of the light adjustable lens is? I think my patients have been very happy with it. Um, I think they're excited about it. I think they like the idea of being able to fine tune their vision after surgery. Um, there's no uh, unpredictability here. I think it's a great lens for patients that have had prior surgery on their eyes, uh, like LASIK surgery or PRK surgery, um, where the calculation of lens implant is not as accurate as it would be in, a, in an eye that has not had prior surgery. So it offers that uh, fine tuning in those cases as well. Excellent. Well, thanks, Dr. Pommel. All right, thank you very much. Well, there you have it. The light adjustable lens implant is one of the newest, most innovative technologies available for patients having cataract surgery. And the consensus from surgeons seems to be that this is a revolutionary lens implant for patients that offers accuracy and customizability. If you'd like to learn more about the light adjustable lens implant or anything about modern cataract surgery, you can check out bestcataractsurgeons.com.